Uh, thank you for that clarity. We don't have a gold standard. We use that expression a lot to describe the best of something. We don't have a yes. real gold standard in America. We don't measure the amount of money we print amount, uh, against a, a store of gold. But one of the reasons that's worked is because we've never defaulted. The American dollar and the ability Correct. to pay our debts is, in fact, the global gold standard. It's why you get less money for investing, for buying American dollars than you get for any other currency, because the, it is it is secure. The full faith and credit of the United States government backs that dollar. And once you put a crack in that, you may not be able to cover that crack again. That's correct. And Ali, um, when I was serving in the Senate early on 2011, I think it was, we came very close to defaulting in a previous standoff, much like this current one. And just coming close increased our borrowing costs by billions of dollars. So Speaker McCarthy has to take default off the table. You're right. We have annual negotiations about how much to spend in our appropriations process. And several times over the last decade, we've had a federal government shutdown when we can't come to an agreement between the parties. That's bad enough to have the federal government shut down. That is something that has happened several times, but it's not catastrophic. Default would be catastrophic. So I know our president is researching, considering, preparing for alternative paths in the event we can't get to an agreement. And the most important central staff of our president is currently negotiating at the table with a congressman from Louisiana who the speaker has chosen, trying to get to an agreement. But we have very little time, given how many votes it took for the chaos caucus, as you call them, to confirm Speaker McCarthy. I'm worried that if we don't have a reasonable, responsible deal on the table and able to begin voting this coming week, that we're going to miss this window and we're going to default. In so that we case, we need to be prepared with an alternative. But my hope is that we will carve a deal that can get Democrat and Republican votes in the Senate and House within the next two days.